Hi there, Laura here. Today I am going to do a shop my stash. So I am wearing my he shop my stash from last time on my eyes because last time I chose my Mermaid Tarte Revolution colour and I made up my own colours using Natasha Denona as a base, the gold palette, and then adding in a few more colours that I thought would be useful in that. And this is what I ended up with. And so today I am wearing this green here. And that's the colour on the inside there. And then I am wearing this green here, which is from the... BYS Rebel palette and it's all up in my crease in here and I'm wearing this green here on my lower lash line and I'm wearing this gold here in the middle and I'm wearing this colour here and this is from the Sofix palette from Revolution at the top this one here was from the Solar Flare palette from BH Cosmetics and that's what I'm wearing on my eyes today so I also used my BH Cosmetics Eye Lights and my Liquid Catsuit in gold and my liner from Designer Brands and my gold Classy Kate Cosmetics Gloss and these all came in handy for doing just that, giving that little bit of extra I used a lot as sort of eyeliners or just a little pop of extra in the middle. I'm not wearing any of them today but in some of the looks that I did I did wear them and I also used my blue mascara from Colourpop on the bottom so I added those into my shop my stash and the two three liners that I probably used the most was my um, one to two ones so I did the Glitter Bronze and the Glitter Navy and the Glitter Emerald. And I also used my green Kaching Wonder Swipe from Rimmel. So that's an eyeliner. So I used a mixture of green and turquoise with the gold. And I did use my um, Rimmel Be My Baby liquid lipstick quite a lot because it's in my project pan and I'm getting down to the bottom of it and I want to get it finished. So, so I did use that lipstick quite a lot. I didn't use a lot of other coloured lipsticks so I didn't actually pull any out. I did use the odd other one but I sort of mixed it around. and yeah. so, so I didn't really use a lot of different lipsticks over this last shop my stash. I was just playing with that turquoise and gold colour scheme with a little bit of green, I went a little bit more green and um, just just played and I really enjoyed just playing with the colour because colour is what it's all about for me. And here's a few of the other looks that I have done.
And I'm really, I've been really happy with my shop my stash this time. I got to experiment and play and I'll link my video that I did about um, the Natasha Denona gold palette and how I kind of duped the vibes of it and then gave you my conclusion on what I thought of the colour scheme and then I made up a few bits of my own. So if you want to go and watch that, I'll put that in the cards for you. And I thought that was quite a good way to do it. I want to mix and match and, and play. But today I'm going to use a palette that I have recently brought that I haven't had very long and I want to um, have a play with. So for Shop My Stash this time I am going to use my strawberry palette. So my strawberry palette here, I have used this once, so it won't be a first impression, but I haven't used all the colours, I've only used a few of the colours and I'm dying to get into this a bit more because I love this colour scheme, these, these types of soft pinks and these peaches really speak to me. Now this is not supposed to be one of their nine pin colour palettes, but it's the same setup, so I'm just going to include it <laughs> in that. As far as I'm concerned, it's, it, it is, but officially it's not part of that. But the other thing I want to use with it as well are the Super Shock jellies. What, no? They're the jelly match shadows that I got with it that I really want to try. So I got these two jelly match shadows with it, and one of them is called Strawberry Jam, and the other one is called Strawberry Jelly. And this strawberry jam one is the one that I think is the most strawberry color out of the whole collection. So this is this one here. So and it's just beautiful and I can't wait to play with that. And the other one I think is going to go really nicely with the orange palette I've got because look at that. That's just gorgeous as well. And I was looking at the peach palette from Colourpop and I thought, well, like between the strawberry shake palette here that has these peachy colours and my orange palette from Colourpop, which also has sort of peachy colours in the top there, I didn't really feel that I needed it people doing a comparison video and they compared the orange and the red with the peach and there weren't that many colours that were similar but then I saw someone who did the um, Sweet Talk palette to the peach and a lot of the colours were very very similar if not practically the same. So I think that I'm going to play with this play with my strawberry one, play with my orange one, and convince myself that I don't need the peach one because I'm pretty sure with those three I definitely don't need the peach one. But I, I would like to play, I might even do a dupe of the peach one with those and I suspect from the video I saw it, I can't remember who did it because I didn't really take note at the time, but I will have a look in here and see what colours, that, that looks so pretty on camera with the, all the different colours reflecting off there, um, wh which ones are sort of similar to what I think is in the peach palette, because I, like orange is my favourite colour but peach is a close second because it's all the same colour family to me, it's all orange really but just peach is just a lighter version of orange. So, so I do really love the colour but I don't think I actually need that one which is surprising considering how much I love the colour. So, I feel like I'm just rambling in this video. It's been a few days since I've done a video because um, I've been sick. The whole family ended up getting sick. So we're still recovering. I'm feeling pretty good today so I thought I'd do some filming. The other thing I'm going to use I think is the Dream Blush from Maybelline. 
looks like this. And I used it the other day with the strawberry palette and the colour was perfect, I thought, with the look that I was doing for the strawberry palette that day. So I'll play with that too because this is a cream blush and although I've only had it this year, um, because it's a cream product I need to use it more, so I'm going to have an experiment with that. Is there anything else that I want to experiment with? Possibly a couple of lipsticks that I want to play with? Let me just look. Why don't you come look with me? So my setup is slightly different at the moment because I am in a tiny little office space at the moment because um, my daughter's home from university. And what I want to get out is probably some lipsticks. So hopefully we'll be able to see in this drawer. And I want to use, oops, if I can hold it, I want to use my melting pout because this looks like a nice red that's going to suit the strawberry look. There was, I haven't tried this, this is a new product to me. So this is a Focal Law one and it is a liquid lip in garnet and I don't think I can get this out with one hand because I'm holding my camera in my other hand. Hang on. So this is what this looks like. It's a metallic orange. And when I tested this very quickly, it um, it was quite drying. So I want to try it out again and see if I like it or not. And I've got my strawberry coloured nails today. Finally decided to focus. And the lipstick I want, I no longer have because my daughter borrowed it and she left it at her friend's house. And I've never seen it since, so that's a shame. Because it was my... She... X Colourpop one that I thought would be a perfect spring orange, but I don't have that one anymore, so I'll have to try something else. What about this one? This one might be good for a top or two. There's two glittery ones there. And I know this one is nice, but it's a bit dark. I don't think I want, I want a lighter one. And this one might be a bit light, Oops. but maybe we'll try this one because I know there's going to be some real strawberry ready looks, but there'll also be some orange peachy looks going on. So that's what I've got so far. And the strawberry shake things out of the way. I'm in a very tight corner here so I've got, I'll, I'll just show you, I've got my office here. So I've set up the makeup stuff in this corner and I've just done my makeup so it is a little bit messy but and then I've got my drawers here and my palettes are just in some boxes. I just moved that one out of the way and my headbands are on the floor and stuff because that's all I had room for. And then on the other side, I've got my painting stuff. So I was going to use this for painting and filming while I'm painting. So this is the painting I'm currently playing with. My sort of abstract underwater rocks using teal and gold and green colour scheme like my eye makeup. So that's where I'm working at the moment. So that is the whole room. Like it's... That are probably making you dizzy, but it's really, it's really small. I'm literally, I can just about touch the walls on each side as I stand here. So I don't know if I will leave the makeup in here. I prefer the palettes stored on a shelf than in boxes like that. But um, I don't have to move my camera so much if I want to film for. Um, my art which has been oh look there there I am hello <laughs> which has been stopping me from filming because I can't be bothered moving everything so um yeah I'm, this is this is on my phone at the moment so that was just a short detour from what I'm actually talking about so here is my little shop my stash quick rundown gonna do a strawberry shake the orange Sweet Talk, 
the Jelly Matte Shadows from the Strawberry Shake range, the Dream Matte Blush and four lips. And I want to play with the Strawberry Crush and do some different looks, but I also want to play and see what I think about duping the peach palette. Do I need it? Do I not need it? Do I think I can get a better colour scheme without using it? So that's what I am going to be doing for Shop My Stash this time. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!